All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint these lily pads. So the question is, who is Vasily Kandinsky? All right, let's run through the colors. Quinn red, pearly red, pearly orange, Van Dyke brown, Union yellow, primary yellow, Quinn blue, primary cyan, phthalo green, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna do a lily pond. turquoise water it's kind of there's more of a glassy look on that so I got to get that really faded low intensity blue on there um, in some spots maybe the blue coming in different spots where you show the depth versus the reflection um, we got this kind of emerald this lime green it's more of a darker green kind of a warm green so I got to get that touched in there outline the lily pad so they really kind of pop and do one of these a couple of these kind of brown spoiled kind of dying uh, lily pads as well He was a famous uh, painter. Um, he formed, he's best probably known for the Blue Rider group with his painting, the Blue Rider. That was in Germany during the Bauhaus years, but he actually started earlier. Um, he didn't start until really his 30s. He was successful um, economically, I think as a law professor, I wanna say. And then he went into art and then he was, it was really easy for him. So he really loved that. And he was, um, studying i think he was painting in germany and then he went back to russia and in russia he was kind of taught at the school he didn't really paint during that time frame it was the early period of when lenin kind of took power in 1917 and then into 1920 so only three years in and then in 1922 he was offered a role in germany he visited there and he's like oh this is where the new art movement is so he moved there so luckily he kind of escaped the grasp of stalin because that could have been disastrous when stalin came to power no one left russia basically so then he joined um, the Bauhaus school, which formed kind of this geometric work that he was really known for as well, which is kind of these circles and lines. And some would argue it always has the figure of St. George on a horse in it. And then later um, he moved to Paris because obviously the Nazis closed down the Bauhaus. Um, and he stayed in Paris till the end of his days. And he formed kind of this biomorphosis style. Um, I don't know much about it, it's not as famous. Uh, to me, the first two styles really stand out, the Blue Rider movement and with kind of its bold color fields. And then later his geometric work, that's kind of what I would say Kandinsky is known for. The biomorphic work, obviously it's collectible. Um, but yeah, I would, I, I would prefer the other two. <laughs> but that's my take on Kandinsky. All right, we just finished, let's take a closer look. 
So I really kind of like this color here. It has this green and kind of these dying lily pans which are purple here, which probably they're probably closer to brown. Um, so I'm kind of playing back and forth between reality and what they would really look like. And you have some of the flowers. These are purple flowers, but they don't really stand out. You know, maybe I should have switched that up to maybe um, blossomy and orange, but I kind of wanted to stay true to maybe what it looked like a little bit in the photo. Um, it does have this really nice change of water from kind of a turquoise at the bottom to a really sky blue that's being reflected from the sky, obviously. And then you're having the lily pads kind of reflecting themselves into the water. I think that works from a distance up close. It might look, you know, kind of painterly, uh, but I do like the water effects. It is a challenge to paint in the greens that we need and the blues because that's a really drippy color and it just definitely doesn't want to stick. It kind of wears off. You have to let it dry, come back again, paint it, let it dry, come back again. So it is a little bit of a challenge. It works more like kind of an oil color wood, which it's more, um, doesn't dry as fast. In oil, you don't notice it because all the colors don't dry in a week. So you're like, whatever. But in acrylic, you really notice on the blues, like the Quinn blues, um, phthalo green, it's just really drippy colors and it's such a contrast to the reds, which I have red in here, the titanium and dye dries really fast, or black dries the fastest probably. So if you don't have black in there, it just really kind of is, you know, doesn't dry fast, but you can't add black if it's kind of a mid-tone blue, right? Anyway, I kind of like, I think the composition's good. Um, it's definitely a very challenging environment to paint. I don't know if I'll paint them again, but I just want to kind of take that look on Monet and how he, um, looked at the landscape he actually built a pond in his backyard and expanded it so it was just gigantic pond a lot of people don't know that actually the trains ran by there so he's constantly in noise it wasn't peaceful at all but you, in the painting you don't notice it right so it, that is the main thing he painted these ponds so he could paint from these huge windows because he couldn't go outdoors as much so you know due to his declining health he built this huge pond and that really helped him allow to continue to paint something really long lasting he painted these huge water lilies which you can only see in the museum so in that sense, they're a little bit impractical because those shows can't travel around to really show Monet's, his last water lilies off, but they are monumental works. And at the time, they were probably one of the largest style paintings until, you know, the, the more the modern people came along, Picasso and later guys that started painting huge or graffiti art writers writing really big and murals, so to say. So, but he did do these really cool water lilies. So I kind of want to do that tribute to Monet and take my interpretation of it. Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you want to see the full version, check my Patreon account. I'll see you on the next painting video, guys. Thanks for watching.